finding inverse of this matrix using adjoint method formula to find a inverse using adjoint method so third method we are going to discuss formula is a inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant a into adjoint of matrix a here determinant of a is equal to minus 2 which is not equal to 0 therefore a inverse exists now we want to find adjoint of a so we require cofactors and formula for cofactors is so using a i z is equal to minus 1 raised to i plus z into m i z where m i z is the minor determinant so you'll have to find all cofactors let's start with the first cofactor a 1 1 so a 1 1 is equal to minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 to m 1 1 that is equal to minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 so we get plus here m 1 1 is obtained by deleting first row and first column so when you delete first row and first column we get this determinant so this is nothing but determinant 2 3 1 1 and value of this determinant is you know how to expand 2 into 1 minus 3 into 1 so 2 minus 3 that is equal to minus 1 then a12 minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2 into m12 that is equal to now minus 1 raised to all power so we'll have minus of the determinant now m12 means we have to delete first row second column so we get determinant 1 3 3 1 that is equal to 1 minus 9 that is equal to minus 8 but outside minus sign is there so minus minus plus 8 next a 1 3 is equal to minus 1 raised to 1 plus 3 into m 1 3 that is equal to again even power so this will be positive and determinant is m 1 3 deleting first row third column so we get determinant 1 2 3 1 1 2 3 1 that is equal to 1 minus 6 that is equal to minus 5 then next element so first row is over a11 a12 a13 over now a21 a21 is equal to minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 into m21 that will be equal to minus of the determinant m21 so now we'll delete second row first column so we get determinant 1 2 1 1 that is equal to 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 next element is a22 minus 1 raised to 2 plus 2 into m22 so that is equal to determinant m22 deleting second row second column so we get 0 2 3 1 here So that is 0 minus 6 that is equal to minus 6. Then A2 3 is equal to 
minus 1 raised to 2 plus 3 into m23. So minus of the determinant, second row, third column. So 1, 2, 3, 1. Equal to 1 minus 6, that is minus 5, minus minus plus 5. Next element is A31. So minus 1 raised to 3 plus 1 into M31. So you get minus 1 raised to 4, that is even power. So determinant M31, so deleting third row, first column. So we get 1, 2, 2, 3. That is equal to 3 minus 4, that is minus 1. Next element is A32 that is equal to minus 1 raised to 3 plus 2 into M32. So we get minus of the determinant deleting third row second column. So we get 0, 2, 1, 3. 0, 2, 1, 3, that is equal to 0 minus 2, equal to minus 2, minus of minus 2 is plus 2. And the last element is A33, that is minus 1 raised to 3 plus 3 into M33, equal to the determinant obtained by deleting third row, third column. So we have 0, 1, 1, 2. That is equal to 0 minus 1. Therefore, matrix of cofactors equal to A11, A12, A13, A21. A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. So matrix of cofactors or cofactor matrix is equal to, let's substitute these values. So we have first row as minus 1, 8, minus 5, 1, minus 6, 3, and minus 1, 2, minus 1. Adjoint of A is equal to transpose of this matrix. So it is equal to minus 1, 8, minus 5, 1, minus 6, 3, minus 1, 2, minus 1, transpose. Therefore, therefore, adjoint of A is, so interchanging rows and column. So first, row will become now minus 1, 1, minus 1. Second row will be 8, minus 6, 2. Third row will be minus 5, 3, minus 1. Therefore, using our formula, A inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant A. We know that determinant A is minus 2. So, 1 upon minus 2 into minus 1. 1 minus 1, 8 minus 6, 2, minus 5, 3 minus 1. That is equal to using property of scalar multiplication. So we get A inverse as 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Second row, minus 4, 3, minus 1, third row, 5 by 2, 
minus 3 by 2 and 1 by 2. So we got A inverse as this matrix. Using adjoint method we have found this A inverse.